All right, what we're doing here is we're taking something that millions of Americans do almost on a uh, weekly basis. We're taking two-day-old Chinese food and seeing which one, which appliance reheats it the best so it's the most edible. We're taking the egg roll, brown rice, what is it, sweet and sour sweet chicken? Sweet and sour chicken and vegetable lo Vegetable lo mein. We're going to test it in the steam oven, a regular microwave, and a speed oven using microwave and convection. This is a Gaginow steam oven. Now, steam ovens are manufactured by a number of different brands, like Thermador, obviously Gaginow, Miele, Bosch, Wolf, all have um, uh, steam capabilities. The way it works is heat and moisture. So we're going to program this oven with our plated Chinese food. Open it up. Programming now. How many minutes, roughly? Five. Five minutes. We'll see what comes out. The next one is going to be speed oven. Speed oven uses microwave and convection in combination to cook more evenly and with a better texture. Um, we're going to do it in a meal, but you can get it really in any brand. Again, Bosch, Wolf, Gaginow, uh, KitchenAid, Janier, pretty much all of them have speed oven. So we're going to program it and see what happens. How much time? Uh, this one was pre-programmed. It's going to do about 53 seconds. So it's 53 seconds as opposed to 5 minutes in the steam. Mm -hmm. Alright, the last one we're going to use, what most people use, is microwave. The way microwaves work, it excites the water molecules in the food to create heat. That's why you almost get like a drier texture in the microwave. Now, you get microwaves really from any company at any particular price. What we're going to do is we're going to put our last Chinese food dish into the uh, Bosch straw microwave right here. All right, this is two-day-old Chinese food. You have your steam, speed, and microwave. Now the test to see which one taste better. It should be said that I'm, I'm not a fan of Chinese. Do you like Chinese food? <laughs> I don't. Okay. But uh, here's the test. Dig in. Yeah. Yeah, take the brown rice. I'll eat that. <laughs> Chicken's nice and moist. What do you think? Oh, awesome chicken. Chicken is moist. Pretty good. Definitely. All right. <clears throat> that doesn't taste like two old, two day old Chinese food. No chance of getting poisoned with this stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go to um, let's go to. Um, What's this convection microwave? This is the speed. Speed. <laughs> a a little bit drier. That's two day old giant food. <clears throat> it's really dry. Food's dry, it's warm, but it's dry. It's warm, but it's drier, yes. All right, microwave. It's got all that water on it. but rubbery. Mm-hmm. That's two-day-old rubber Chinese food. Very oh. hot. And the protein is a lot tougher. <clears throat> Keep eating. <laughs> so I'd say that definitely the clear winner here is the steam. This isn't bad either. You know, microwave, we all grew up with microwaves and everything else, but because it takes all the water out, it makes it really dry and tough. Mm -hmm. So... In terms of reheating, we got a clear winner. This wasn't so bad though either. No. And that's it. Which one? Which appliance reheats the best? I'd have to say it's steam. Of course, it's more expensive, and you have to learn how to use it. But it's by far the best in our Chinese food test.